Hello. We are going to continue in the book of Revelation for our daily devotion, but we are going to go back to chapter 2. Today is Thursday, August the 22nd, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene. As I said, we are going to be in Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Here's the word of the Lord. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Consider f how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. But you have this in your favor. You hate the practices of the Nicolodians, which I also hate. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled Listening Ears by Andrea Talley. Here's what Andrea writes for us on this Thursday. One particularly trying year, I recall asking my director if she would mind drafting a note to the parents of the children in my class asking them to send their child's listening ears in their backpacks if the child refused to put them on in the morning. I received laughter and sympathy in response to my request. I think it's safe to say that most teachers, and perhaps parents as well, have wondered if a particular child's ears are merely decorative. This usually comes after a request is repeatedly ignored by said child, thus causing the adult to rationalize the reason for the child's refusal to comply. Their listening ears must be broken, otherwise they would be happy to obey. I would imagine God wonders the same thing about our listening ears. Perhaps he wonders if our internal ears that adorn our hearts are malfunctioning, due to the fact that we don't always do as he asks. Scripture beckons those who have ears to hear because something that was said or about to be said is really important. How would your life be different if the lifting ears of your heart were finely tuned to God's voice? All for Jesus by Mary D. James. All my thoughts and words and doings, all my days and all my hours, all for Jesus. And for in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. And this is your daily devotion for Thursday, August the 22nd. Have a blessed day.